One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can line up over here. Oh, huh? We'll do a little bit of warm up first. Yeah, you don't need. Just line up. I'll show you first, and then you just follow me. And then when one, uh, the person before you reach middle, the next person starts. And then you go to uh, on the ladder, and then you just walk back to the line. Okay, first one is easy. You just walk. Yeah, let's go. Go, 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 go. Let's go fast, 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 fast. Just walk. You can, you can walk, jog, doesn't matter. Don't hit the feet. Tippity, tippity toe. Okay, this one, same thing, go faster. This time, skip. One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip, skip, skip. Yeah, skip. Skip again. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. <laughs> Both feet, hop. Just left foot, hop. Right foot. <laughs> left, right, left, right back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. Yeah, stay low, stay low, stay low. Left foot first, left foot first. Oh, huh? Very good. Yeah, that's good. You can go slow. Uh huh. The other side, right side. Stay low. Right foot, left, right, left, right. Oh, if you do it fast, it's agility. If you do it slow, it's coordination. Okay, so this one is like stepping in and doing a short push and then coming out. So it will look like a little bit space. One, two, out. Okay? One, two, out. So you can go slow here, but as soon as you touch, I want you to come out. And then move over. One, two, up. Fast. One, two, up. One, two, up. Yes, so go slow, go slow. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. Come out. Yeah. One out. One out. Out. Yeah. Touch and up. Yeah, quicker. Yeah, that quicker.
Yeah. Yeah. Wider. Come back out wide. Left, right, right. No, right foot. Yeah, so this foot goes in and then out. Yeah. Yeah, push and come back. So this size, same thing, right, left, up. Okay, right, left, up. Right, left, up. Right, left, up. Go slow, Spencer. Don't need to rush. The sooner you come out, the better. Right, left. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand out white. Karen, stand, come out white. Yeah. It's on high knee, high knee. Up, 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 up. This time, high knee, same thing, but you're gonna step in and do one, two, hold. One, two, hold. Hold, 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 hold. Knees up. Yeah. Both knees up. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah, for now, right knee up. Same thing, left, left knee up, right, left, yeah, right, yeah, very good Spencer, hey, nice, yeah. Okay, this time out and in. Out, in, out, two, two. Very nice. Both. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. Okay, next one is starting from the side, inside out. One foot stays inside. Yeah, like that. No, stay inside. Stay. Yeah, like that. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Oh, go slow, go slow. I'll wait for you. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Try. Yeah, yeah. One more time. Minus 10 points.
This time, not one foot at a time, both feet. Okay, last one is crossover footwork. So you're gonna be standing on the left side, you're gonna turn to your right side, and then as if you're hitting one, you're gonna step over, okay? Move up, here turn, backhand. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Spencer, go back. <laughs> Who knows crossover footwork? Okay, I, I'll go first slowly. Watch. First thing is this. You stand here, you turn the body first. You're gonna swing first and then jump over. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This one correct. No, the same thing the other way. Good. Okay, not bad. Uh huh. Yeah, nice. Uh, give one hop after that. Let's give one hop. So after this, give one hop and then restart. One, yeah, restart, yeah. Uh, slowly move forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Body turn first. No, body turn first and wait. Turn. No, the other way. Yeah, and then jump over. And then body turn. This way. Yeah, and then jump. Yeah. Body turn. And then jump over. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you, you play first and then land on your foot. No, 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 no. As you play, here, as you play, boom, one, two. Here, boom, one, two. Pro yeah, probably a little bit further. Okay. So once we'll gather middle first. Yeah, so because we don't have much time, while we do this training, it will be four table tennis. So the things that you do here, you're going to be using while you're playing table tennis. Yeah. So since this is first day, we can come over here and just a little bit explain. Karen, you can uh, stand on the other side. So come. Oh yeah, yeah, your pedal. Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, you're the only one who doesn't have pedal. Uh huh. So try to focus on not differentiating drive to loop. Okay, only, there are only two aspects on the ball, spin and speed. Now there's too much spectrum that you cannot just pick a point where you say this is loop, this is mesh, right? There's 
too many shots in between. So what I mean is, when I drive, my goal is to not to spin, but just send the ball forward. Doesn't matter wherever I stand. Even from here, there is no spin because already when the ball is bouncing, it creates top spin. And with that top spin, when I touch the ball, it creates top spin again. So I don't need to work to top spin, okay? And from the same drive, all you do to do loop is, is if this is drive, I'm doing the same thing, same length of the swing, go 45 up to use the energy only for spin, okay? So instead of sending it forward, I'm gonna start to go up a little bit. And from here, the swing size never become different, but I just a little bit sit, use the body. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. If you change your swing size, you will end up using your arm more than your body. So it's to limit your stroke, same as the drive, and then help, get some help from the body to extend the swing length, not change on the arm. That's how you stabilize your swing, okay? So we'll partner up, Yuki and Hao. They stable, and... Crystal and Lex in the middle, and Karen and Spencer last table. So these are all, all the three stars or like training balls that I have. We'll do three forehand loop. Oh no, and let's start with the drive. So drive first, a little bit warm up. Just forehand drive, yeah, forehand to forehand. Yeah, drive first. Stand closer, stand in the middle. Swing too big, smaller, smaller. Don't drop too much. Don't drop it too much. Open more. Stay closer. Don't close. Don't close. Open. Open. Okay, this side loop, this side loop, this side block. Hmm. We are just trying to make it spinny. No need for speed. Maximize the spin. Use their body. Nice. 
No miss, no miss. Little bit delayed, delayed. Prepare quicker. Smaller swing, prepare quick. Ready, ready, ready. Come back. Recover. One ready, one ready, one ready, one ready, one ready, one ready. You always need to have a pause before you swing to control the timing. No need to wait to come back, huh? No need to wait to come back. Come back and wait. To maximize the spin, the pedal needs to start a little bit under, open, catch, forward, and close. To maximize the spin, the pedal needs to a little bit more under because if your pedal is behind the ball, that adds speed. If your pedal goes under the ball, it adds spin. So your shot is more like a 1.2 for spin, 1.8 for speed. So there's a little bit more speed component because it starts a little bit further back. So you can use less or same energy and get more spin if you go a little bit under and open, catch and go forward and close. So not here, the ball is here, your pedal starts here, catch, close. Don't, go, don't, don't need to go back. So as soon as you go back, the consequence is the ball goes up because there's more speed than spin. No, if your pedal goes back, yeah, then the ball goes right away out. Yeah, uh huh. I see too many balls here. I see too many balls here. No balls here. Oh, very spinny. Let's switch. The other side block, this side loop. A little bit of pause, very consistent, very good, I like it. But Spencer, the way you swing, your arm follows through and finishes here. 
So this means you went a lot of forward motion from the beginning. Oh, your contact point and your spin is good yeah. and consistent because you know exactly when to contact and how to contact. But if you're looping, this would be more like a drive. If you're looping, your elbow would come maybe up and finish here. Okay, so like, uh, yeah. So the way you brush the ball is more like this. You're brushing it and finishing here. See my elbow? And my elbow finishes low and in front. But if you're looping, you actually need to finish high with the elbow. My elbow goes up, 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 up and finish here. Uh, instead of here. Try. Elbow stays outside and up. Yeah, then you can maybe have more spin. Nice. You can a little bit more push forward when you block. Try to think about like not hitting it hard, but sending it long. Uh -huh. Oh, too long. <laughs> Maybe shorter swing, don't make a big, big swing small. Start right behind the ball, spin, yeah. Yeah, yes, 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 perfect. Never drop too much. Your body can drop, but not your arm. That's good, that's good, yeah, that was better, that was better. Let's go to backhand. Yeah, backhand drive, backhand to backhand.
Okay, this side we'll do three backhand drive and then three forehand loop from the backhand side. The other side, when they are looping, block, when they are driving, you drive together. When, when he loop, block. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he loop, block. If it's Loop, 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 loop. Maybe more loop. Four hand look catch a little bit sooner. Yeah, so that means you're too far. Yeah, so just step to the side so you can catch just right after the top. If you wait more, then you have to work harder to get it up. Uh, right after the peak. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Yeah, 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 there. Uh -huh. Catch, catch. Control, control on the block. Okay, let's switch.
Uh, let's start with Yuki. Yuki, do you wanna uh, practice anything? Something to something that you wanna work on? Forehand loop. Okay, so forehand loop from here or here? Both. This side. Okay. So you, uh, Yuki will random. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what you're gonna do. Yeah, you. Oh, you're gonna serve first. On the spin, short, anywhere. On the spin, short, anywhere. You can you push back, short, anywhere, but not too short, like medium, okay? After that, ha, we're gonna either push to his forehand side or backhand side. If he pushes to your forehand side, you start to loop this way and you block. And then you continue to loop. If ha pushes that way, you forehand loop this way and then you continue to loop and you block. So for you is serve, push random each corner and then watch his loop to choose where to defend. Okay, okay let's see. Let's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Good spin, he also has good. Both of you have good spin. Both of you have good spin. Lex, what do you want to work on? Uh, Four handle? Okay, then uh, let's do, you just give under spin. Start with the under spin loop, okay? And then, Krista, you push back. Now you loop first. When you loop the first one, I want you to stay here to do the first loop. After that, make one step, and you're going to loop. I'm going to put a barrier behind you so you don't fall back too much, so you can catch at the top. So if I, if I were you, and loop for the, can I use, yeah. So here, wall, warm. So the good point to catch for the forehand loop is right after the top. Here, 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 here. If, if, if it's later than that, then too late. So you all, and you can, you can control this length by hitting it harder. If I go harder, the ball comes out long. So actually I can go back. So you actually control where is the top of the bounce. Yeah, so if you want to go back further and still be able to catch at that same point, then you would give a little bit more energy. If not, if you're staying, oh, go soft. Because if you hit it hard, the ball comes long. So that's not top of the bounce, but you're catching it when it's rising. Depends on when you want to catch. Uh -huh. But you can catch on the rise or at the top or right after the top, but here is not good. Yeah. So start with the underspin, forces you to stay close, don't step back too much, and try to continue to loop. Oh, you have. What do you want to work on? 
for under spin or top spin? For under spin, okay, then you spin, you, uh, you give under spin, yeah. and then Spencer push to her forehand, you loop, and then you block. Okay. Yeah, and she continues to loop. <laughs> Supply. Demand. Little early, yeah. Little early. Oh, good spin. This, this way, you cannot look good after the underspin because after the first loop, you walk back. <laughs> cannot walk back here. Here, quickly, here you serve, come in, watch. When she push, you find the right place with your right foot, quickly. Not just move and expect the ball to come to you, right? Your right foot has to find the ball and probably it has to be stay on this line, okay? If you're further like that, you end up catching the ball here. You want to catch the ball here. One, two, wait for the ball. If it's a little bit far, you can do the cross, mini crossover footwork to catch up and then come back. Oh, cannot walk back here. One, two, ready already. And then if, if you're wrong, a little bit you can move. Later, after this, this back step, will be even better to find the right place in the first place. Yeah, but for now, you need to just make it automatic and then catch. One, two. Yeah, again, okay. more control. Always need to have pause before you swing. Good. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't wait to come back. Come back and wait. Ready and wait. Ready, ready, yeah. You need to get ready before your ball lands on the table. Ready? Almost. Wow. Mm. I, I see some I see some weakness on your backhand block. Because when when the boy is coming you need to feel like you're absorbing the energy, whether you're countering the energy. So it's very hard to control, especially when legs puts more spin. But it's not right, but you're when you're uh, pu pushing it, it's not control, but it's a hit. So it, it goes like everywhere. So let me show you. 
same thing. After this push, ooh. Mm. Ooh. Uh, uh. Uh. Yeah. So your your block, you're doing this same loop. Like this. But it has to be more. So the ball is always same height, same length. Yeah, doesn't matter what's coming in. You have to control to put it back. Soft, long, medium height. Too much. <laughs> close, close more. No, not just close more, but watch the spin. Uh, watch the spin to close. Long, long and high. Push long and high. Oh, better. Yeah, oh, that was better. Okay, how, what do you want to work on? Okay, same thing. <laughs> or purple. <laughs> oh, block, block, block. Block. Yeah, I will come. Let's switch. What do you want to work on, Crystal? Then let's try uh, same thing. So you serve. Push, loop from the backhand side, block one, and then you let you come back and you start to block with the backhand. Or uh, you can go soft, but anywhere, and then you try to loop the next one. Backhand, backhand, forehand, forehand. So you do one block, and then you will start your rally. If we fail this block, there is no next ball. Okay, Spencer, what do you want to work on? Okay, so you serve, push back to backhand side, you backhand loop, and you catch. Don't need to block. Uh -huh. Just for now, so you do one backhand push and one backhand loop and then stop. And then whenever you feel, oh, I, I think I'm okay, then you can continue to backhand. Okay? So once you catch, I catch with backhand. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh -huh. <coughs> on the screen. Oh, you can just block it back. And he kicked. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do that. Uh huh. So, overdoing same thing doesn't fix something, right? So, what is the goal on your loop, on your backhand loop? It has to be stable. Right now, if I use it in the game, maybe 60 40 gets in or not. No, but does it hit the net or go out? Uh, open net. It's kind of flat. Okay, so, so what affects your swing and the ball that push? that puts the ball to the net? Uh, angle and... Uh, angle, direction. angle, yeah. angle. So if it's close, because your swing is up. You're swinging up, but if the ball goes to the net, it means your angle was too close. Yeah, you gotta start open and swing a little bit more upward than forward to get higher arc. Yeah, and to help, to get some help, if you... If your perspective is a little bit under the ball like that, it's easier for you to get a higher arc than to stay up here. Uh huh. Uh huh. So get a little bit under and open, 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 catch. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Look at your pedal. Come, come, come. Prepare. Stay. Facing the opponent. Let's start here. No, 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 no. Just like this. Just like this. The ball will never go to the net. Again, okay. open more. Open more. If you think you open, you think you open the pedal, your pedal is 45 close. 90. Just like, think about. Six o'clock, like even like open like this, but no, you, but you need to drop the head to get the rotation to spin. But you need to drop it and then. So too close again. No, your angle was too close. Better arc. Above the ball. Oh, sorry. Crystal. Above the ball. Above. Why? Why play forehand from the backhand side? No. <laughs> well, no, it's just order, but does it not matter? It matters because if Lex is ready like this and you commit to this side, very high chance even if you make the shot, he can control it back easy, right? So most of the time, you have to find a chance to move find it like you're like here you're just back into back end like you come to this you come to this point right you you shouldn't turn first you have to set it up how one make the shot make him do a block if I drive 
he can attack it hard, right? So it's a combination here. One, two. That's how you commit. You have to give a kick here. Leave it a top spin. And then make the shot. You cannot drive and then commit to this one. This pivoting point is the combination. Let's say we are starting on the forehand, forehand side. So like, um, when, when I serve, I'm thinking just put, yeah, just push back here. When I serve like this, I saw that he high, often he pushes back here, right? So this push, the serve itself is a setup for me to pivot around, right? If I were to serve here, I wouldn't turn this way because I don't know if he's, he's gonna push this one or short, right? But I know if I push over there, then I can commit. Commit. And here is the same thing. On the back end, give a kick, kick. Mm. Make him be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just set it up. Uh. Cannot just come in. It has to be a sequence. Okay, let's pick up all the balls and then play match. Pick up all the balls and play match. So I'll put just uh, good balls here. The best ice cream. Okay, so there is one condition in the game. We'll play best of five, so first to win three games. In one game, you cannot change your serve. Whatever you do, you have to just serve the same. Okay, obviously, obviously it's not gonna be like perfectly same, but don't intentionally change the serve, okay? Only one serve. After that game, you can change your serve. Yeah, everything same. No, no, every single game, but you can change the serve on the next game. So let's say I started off like just doing the underspin, next game, maybe side spin. So, if anybody cheats, then just raise your hand. This person is changing the serve, okay? Okay, start. This, yeah.
We'll finish up with serve. Let me explain what you need to do until the next time. What kind of serve you need to do. Uh, there are many ways to serve but in the beginning let me first explain this one first when you serve the first thing is spin spin if your serve doesn't have spin you cannot anticipate or control the next play if your ball has good spin, then you can actually anticipate what's coming next. So the, hard, the stronger spin it is, the easier you can play. And it's harder for them to return. It's like this. If, I, if my loop is very spinny, then their option is just to block. They cannot play aggressively, right? So whether it's under spin, I feel. Under spin, or side spin, Side spin, this one, right? This is too soft. So you want to create more spin, make more curve, and start to swing faster, even fast, you want to create more spin, more spin, more spin. So you can see the, those balls are spinning, right? If you serve and you see your ball has no spin, this is not effective, okay? The second thing that comes into play is height of the ball. Let's say I can create so much spin, but the ball is high, then actually they can attack. Okay, so first is spin, second is height. Oh. To spin the ball, you cannot go down or up. Your swing always has to be go forward, forward. This creates the most spin. If you go down, then you will end up bouncing it higher, okay? So most of the people when they're trying to create underspin, they try to swing down. No matter, no matter how fast you do, you cannot create underspin. Because you have to swing fast when you want to create more spin. Then you have to swing forward. And then you control the placement, right? You cannot just serve strong spin and low height for the same place. You little bit give a uh, different placement and then they, you can open up with different strategies. The last thing is the deception. It looks like underspin, but it comes topspin. Maybe or the other way around. It looks like topspin, but then it ends up underspin. So that's the last thing. So if you don't, if your serve doesn't have spin, you have to work first to get spin. Okay. So that's the concept of it. But in the meantime, the first serve that you need to do is side, half side, half underspin, middle or backhand side. So. Half under, half side. Okay, don't get it too short. Probably your second bounce has to land about on the white line, okay? When you do this serve, your second bounce has to be on the white line. It can be middle or it can be to their backhand side. Okay, so need to control that. And the consequence of this serve is that because the second bounce is on the end line, high chance they will push it back in this level. If they are advanced level, they can flick to open up. But now they're gonna push it back. But that push is not necessarily gonna be long. And if you if they can drop that serve like right behind the net, then they are also advanced players. Okay? So Spencer come. Let me show you an example. Come. You, you have pedal? So when I do this serve, you try to return. Uh. So this is pretty good, good uh, return because the second bounce was here. My goal is to get the second bounce out of the table. Then I can put more side spin component than under spin. So like this. Now the second bounce is coming out. So you can control the ratio of side spin and under spin 
but you start from the 50-50, and then this ball is ideally you want to wait and then do a spinny loop. And this one, they will block and then you kill it. So that's the concept. This one, you will do spinny loop, not killer shot. The second serve, you should practice same motion, but no spin. So same motion, no spin. The ball pops up. This is to kill. So you mix these two to play. No spin. Long and high. Very easy to play that shot, right? And then he's gonna start the uh, don't don't return. This serve also has to be medium long. It cannot be super long like that. Then they're gonna loop. So you want to make sure the second bounce is, is very close to the white line. Okay? This is very hard to deal with in the uh, intermediate level. Yeah, people are not going to try to loop or flick. They're going to come and push. Right? And then the ball is going to pop up. And the way to give no spin is you do it like an underspin, but you just swing it down and catch on the, like this side of your pedal. So this side will, can create underspin. This side can create no spin it's in the same motion. So here, underspin, same, no spin. Okay? No spin. This is no spin. Catching here. No spin. That's no spin. No, it's not coming back. Okay? Underspin. No spin. Same motion. Under spin, under and side. They need to see. They need to see. They have to see. No spin. Okay, so we're trying to practice this and now I'll come and really big uh, help you how to serve those. Okay, we have only three baskets for a lot of balls. We have to share one box. I'll bring more box next time for the serve. You can put it in the middle so you can share. No, each, each, each one of us we practice. Serve, only just, only serve. Too long. Too long. You can serve two legs. Yeah. Oh. Don't push. You gotta catch. Little better. Little better. See the second bounce. See the second bounce. So it's too long. Uh, just wait to wait, wait to see. You can also serve too after him. Yeah, uh -huh. one each. One each. You, you can watch each other serve. Yeah. Too long. Too long. Too long. There's no under. Ah. 
Uh, what's from the side? The serve, the stroke itself is very simple. It's A and B. That's all you need to do. There, there is no this. Just A and B. None of this. This doesn't help you to serve better. Any stroke, you need to remain very simple. So here, all I need to think about is after the toss, back, forward, back, forward. And I just repeat that faster to gener generate more spin. Swing must remain simple. Back and concentrate on one single point, catch, catch, yeah. It will help you to serve better if you actually stay a little bit away from the table. If you stay too close, it's hard to get, get good spin. Yeah, better. It's shorter. <laughs> Too long. Too long. Oh yeah. Try to wait. Try to wait. Wait. Don't don't play back. Wait for the ball to come out. Let's see if it bounces on the second bounce. Yeah, so that's good length. That's good length. Need under and no, that's top spin. Just under. Go through under. Two bounce. Better. Oh, nice. Too short? No, no, it's okay but they know what to play. If it's medium low, they hesitate. Oh, should I loop? Should I wait? Should I push? And that little hesitation makes them uh, uh, not a good quality shot because if they wait, they lose. Right, because second bounce is right here. But it looks like long, but it comes down here. So they have to play early, but they have to push them. So that's how you get the opening chance. Too long. That's no under spin. Oh, then it's top spin. Too much top spin. More, more no spin. If legs try to touch, should fall because it's no spin. Yeah, that, that, that kind of feeling. So if it's, if it has lit, like a 10% underspin here, it will be like 5%. By the time after the second bounce, it becomes no spin. So it's not completely no spin from here, then it becomes half spin. So it, it's from here, a little bit underspin, very weak underspin and no spin. So that's how it goes. Yeah, like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 that's right.
Okay, let's gather here one more time. Let's gather here one more time. So I see some of you can actually create side and under spin and no spin. Some of you a little bit hard. So here are a few tips, okay? Uh, first thing is the toss, okay? When you toss, don't try to toss here, okay? It will be really hard to control to keep the ball short because there's tight table. You're afraid of swinging. So your swing will slow down Therefore, it doesn't create any spin. It's hard to control. So rather, you can start here or here, have a little bit of space, about a foot. Okay, about a foot. Then it's actually, as you create this space, you will, push, you will put your weight on your right foot and rotate, okay? So like this. You can see my, I shift my weight to the right foot. After that, when I contact, I'm gonna rotate and sit like that. The reason why we do that is to increase the spin and control with the body then arm. And you can see if I do that, my swing itself is becoming that half under spin, half side spin. I'm not swinging my arm right now. But as I rotate and sit, it's already creating that motion. Right? So it's aligning that. And then the last thing is try to wait as long as possible, okay? It has to be like a surprise. You're doing a serve, and th there's another, like legs come. And if I serve, like this, he sees everything, right? You wanna hide it until the last moment, then serve, right? Hide it until the last moment, and then serve. Hide it until the last moment, and then serve. Yeah, those things you need to think about to serve. Uh, even if he comes out, if my ball has some spin, he will have hard time looping this shot. If it has good spin. If it has no spin, not too difficult to control. But if this front motion, a little bit harder spin, then he has to give lift then next ball I can kind of wait and loop to start. A backhand loop, forehand loop, it doesn't matter. And then if, if you feel like he has good control over there, little bit body rotation here, switch. Maybe his forehand push is weak. Put it in the middle. Maybe he doesn't know if I want to do backhand push or forehand push. Okay, let's cool down and then finish. You can do free stretch. Stretching time, stretching time. This is homework. Side under spin and no spin, second bounce. Okay, you can start to do it. We're gonna do 10 times on each side. No, 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 that's cheating. <laughs> then you cannot pick it up. Then you cannot pick it up. Yuki is, Yuki is the furthest for now. Nice, that's good. 10 times on each side. <laughs> if you fall, doesn't count. If you step on the line, doesn't count. <laughs> If you fall, doesn't count. No, you have to come back and then come down.
Done? Okay. Next one is plank. Plank. We'll do for one minute. Okay. Ready, set, go. Plank. Yeah. Right leg up. Left hand up. Stay. Hey, that's cheating. Right, right leg in the air. In the air. Yeah. You can switch. You can switch, but only one elbow and one leg can be on the floor. You can switch as often as you can or you want. But only two parts can be touching. Ten seconds more, ten seconds more. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Little bit of break. We'll do two more sets of those. So if you have a mark, that means you worked hard. No mark, no work. What happened? No sweat. <laughs> okay, ready? Don't fall. Try to hang in there. Three, two, one, go. Up in the air, up in the air. Arms, arm in front. Karen, arm in front. Raise it in front of you. Uh huh, yes. Yeah. In front, in front, like this. Oh, Karen. Like this. In front, like this. When you lift it. Here. Yes, yes, yes. What happened? How? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then stop. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Regular plank is not too hard, but this one is hard. 20 seconds break. 20 seconds break. Oh, I see. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one, go. If you can, you don't have to. Balance, balance. Stay like a rock. You have become a rock. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Nice. Hmm? Why? Oh. <laughs> 